Hey, what's up? It's cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ. Today, it's a quick look at these Truly Extra. They are Truly's attempt here at a 8% alcohol seltzer. Truly Extra hard seltzer, and they come in two flavors, which are black raspberry here and peach mango. Now, I totally forgot about these. These were teased on uh, the app TikTok. I remember seeing all kinds of stories about it. Um, it was back last March or May, and uh, a TikToker had found these and just were saying they were better than White Claws. And that's all anyone ever saw of them. So I think it was just truly paying off some TikToker. I could be wrong. And then it, it got tons of views on that app. And then they tested it in uh, New York. And now I believe it's officially out everywhere because I found it here in Ohio. So again, two new flavors of Truly, and let's dive right into them and see what they're all about. I'm gonna start with this peach mango. Uh, I'm gonna read off the ingredients here. Uh, filtered carbonated water, alcohol, natural flavors, cane sugar, citric acid, sodium citrate, and stevia sweetener. So this still has the stevia in there. That smells great. Um, they're still gluten-free. What else does it say on the cans? 220 calories, by the way, since you are getting 8% alcohol, and it is a 16-ounce can. That smells really, really nice. Uh, one gram sugar, four grams carbs, and again, gluten-free. And that is for the full can, 220 calories, which, I mean, that's not bad. For 8% uh, alcohol, for 16 fluid ounces, 220 calories. As long as it tastes good, these should be pretty good. It smells really nice. Again, this is the peach mango clear okay so so far out of all of the uh, hard extra hard seltzers I guess that I've had my favorite hands down have been the Bud Light Platinum seltzers coming in at 8% alcohol as well all three of those flavors are really really good especially the wild berry we're starting here with the peach mango truly extra and uh, I'm not sure a lot of people are gonna like this you can definitely tell that it is stronger but it is not it's not bad uh, you can tell it's stronger and it almost seems like there is more of that stevia in it because I thought I was getting used to that stevia sweetener taste apparently I'm not because it is uh, really noticeable in this. I don't know if it's just the flavor. Yeah, there's something off with that. It is not as smooth as a regular Truly. But I think it's better than the other 8% uh, seltzers. Maybe. I don't know. I, I would still prefer probably the PBR stronger seltzer than this. That one was good, at least the lime, that's the one I've had. Uh, and I'd probably rather pick these up than the smeared off seltzers, which uh, it's been a while since we've done those smeared off 8% seltzers, but I think it was the same flavors as these two, now that I think about it. This, uh, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. It's definitely not as good as a regular 5% truly. And yeah, that, that sweetener taste is uh is really strong in this one hopefully this other one is better oh yeah that's uh that's too bad it smells lovely and, and the fruit taste is there there's just a strange aftertaste and I, I really do think it's that sweetener it almost seems like they put some extra in there all right this is the black raspberry the smell is okay. It definitely has a uh, it's got a raspberry smell, but a, a strange one. Let's see how this one is. That one's better. Okay, so that one smells the best. Uh, it was the worst. <laughs> This one smells not very good, and I would say that's the better of the two. 
Um, a, a good fruit flavor there. But it is still, uh, I would say so far my favorite 8% seltzer has to be those Bud Light Platinum Seltzers. Um, these might be worth picking up for you, though. They were uh, a little less than 2 bucks a can. Both of them together, I think, were three eighty after tax, which uh, which isn't bad. Again, for an 8% drink, I just don't think... Um, I don't know. I think Truly fans are going to be disappointed. Truly really is one of the, uh, the better seltzer brands out there right now. They have great flavors. I actually went back and got another case of those tea seltzers. I don't know why. I just was craving them. I'm like... Those tea seltzers sound pretty good, and they were they were fine. Um, I think I've been on a tea kick. I've been drinking a lot of Twisted Tea, which was supposed to be the video that came out today. I pushed that back to next week so we can get to this one. Um, I don't know. I don't think the Truly fans are going to like this one because they are definitely not as good as those other flavors that are out. And again, I think... It has to do with that aftertaste, and it has to be that sweetener. I don't know. It's, it's something strange about these. If you're going to pick one up and try it, and you like raspberry, I would say try this one. It's the uh, the most drinkable of the two, but then again, I have had other 8% seltzers that are better than these two. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried them. Uh, the Truly Extra Seltzers Peach, Ma Peach Mango and black raspberry it's cheap beer for you to drink again i'll see you next week with that twisted tea video which we did uh which was a fun one and uh and then if we have any other new content you'll be seeing it right here on cheap beer for you to drink i try to stick to thursdays at five um and then i was doing two videos a week and that that was too many uh one video a week is plenty and i may even start doing one every other week but that's for down the road again Another video coming at you next week, and that will be the Twisted Tees. So thanks for watching. Leave your request down below. Leave your thoughts on these two. Really interested in uh, what you think about the Truly Extras. I am uh, a little disappointed. A lot disappointed in these. It's cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching.